here. Yeah. Before we do that, there's one more thing. See when we click one of these, our keyboard pops up. Now if I want to close the keyboard, I click outside. When I click outside, I want my keyboard to dismiss. And I'll show you the same thing here. When I click outside, it doesn't go away. We have to hit the return. And same thing here. But we don't want to do that because we're more sophisticated than that. The way we're going to do that is we, as I said, very simple. When we click outside, we want it to dismiss all by itself instead of having to hit this button. And React Native provides a component that is going to allow us to do that very simply. We're just going to wrap pretty much our entire app here in an object and it's called touchable, touchable without feedback. And make sure that it, uh, it's included here, which it is, and we're just going to point this out while we're here. Yep, make sure that is included. And I'm going to take that other one. I'm going to come all the way down to the end and wrap our entire view. And we're going to select everything and shift it over. Touch it with feedback. We're just going to pass it. We're going to tell it what we want to do. When we press, this object essentially anything outside of our input. We want the keyboard to dismiss. And then keyboard also make sure yeah, it's imported here as well from React Native. And that should be all we need. So now if we refresh. We click to open our keyboard, we tap outside, and it goes away. It's that simple. So we'll click on this one, we tap outside, it dismisses without us having to go and hit this annoying button. Just a nice little feature. And we're going to add it to our sign up view as well. So we're just going to copy that add to the same place, wrap the whole thing, and touchable, make sure that it is included here, and clean this one up too. Save. We need to import keyboard as well. Keyboard. Save. Refresh everything. Go to our sign up. Tap outside. Excellent. It's exactly what we want. But we've noticed one more problem. When we have the keyboard up, let's just say I click on this one. It's kind of hidden. We don't like that. Let's see what it looks like on Android. I'll click on that one. That one's okay. It shifts up for us. But iPhone is different. It does not shift up for us. Oops. Now we want the entire thing to shift up. There's a way for us to do that we are going to wrap everything in something called a keyboard avoiding view, which is another view that is provided by React Native. And that should be imported, keyboard avoiding view, yep. And we're going to wrap our touchable with feedback, everything inside that. I'm going to shift that over. I'm going to save that. Load. It's ruined our styles. We're going to have to 
give that a flex of one. Flex uh, style flex one. Save that. Now we're good again. And that's just on sign in. So we're going to have a little sign in. And when we click this, nothing happens. It doesn't shift up. Our entire view should shift up to avoid the keyboards. There. So I think we need to pass behavior equals height. So it will change the height of the of the keyboard avoiding view in response. Now we reload. Click again and see the whole thing shifts up so that all of our view is visible. And then we click out. A nice little feature there. So it just gets out of the way of our keyboard, which is something, you know, user-friendly wise, you might want to add that. Same, same thing here, works very, very well. Excellent. Now we click on this. We haven't done the sign up view yet. So we'll do that now. We will copy our keyboard avoiding view, go over to sign up, wrap our touchable without feedback view. Indent, copy that, make sure we imported it, save, and then there we go. Whole thing shifts up. Does a does a reasonably reasonably good job there. So we'll click on this one. Yeah, the whole thing will shift up. Now what about if we click on top one? Huh. That's not good. What's going on here? Okay. That one's good. That one's good. That one's good. That one's good. That one's good too. All right. So I think maybe we just need to refresh it. Huh. It's working now. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I didn't reload it. I'm not sure. But it's working now. Let me go back to sign in. So, all good. Oh, and also, this should be hidden. We shouldn't be able to see this password. So, remember how we did that? Secure text entry. And come down to our password input. Secure text entry equals true. And then now we've got the dot, dot, dot. We can't see it anymore. All right. Excellent. Now, our public views. Are a little bit more user-friendly. Excellent. Okay, 